Hi folks, a friend of mine wants to give me as a gift couple thousand of these screws, bolts, nuts and washers. It's a very nice gift because with them I can fill up all the boxes here in the shop. Unfortunately, he kept all these parts under the rain for about five years. So you can see that they are all covered of rust and they are no more usable. So I need to find a way to remove rust, but there's no way I'm going to clean them one by one. I need to build a machine that can do it for me. So let me grab something in the kitchen and build it. Follow me for a couple minutes and show you what's in my mind. Okay, let's start first of all taking this. This is a kitchen pot and using a marker I can mark three dots that are equally distance from each other this way. On these dots I want to drill holes so I choose this very good quality drill bits and I install it inside my drill. Because the, the pot is stainless steel it's a very good idea just keeping the RPMs of the motor very very low and also putting a, a little drop of oil on the surface. So after a few minutes this is the result. All the, all, all the holes are done and now I can take a spring and two bolts. I have to connect them together so I push it very very strongly and this is the first screw that fits inside. I repeat the procedure also here on the left and finally we got a spring with two nuts he bolts here on the sides. I repeat the procedure three times and I can then install them on the bottom part of the pot this way. As you can see it's a very precise fit and now I can secure them using three nuts from the inside of the pot. Yes, so I put it here and because this after later on will start to shake and vibrate is also a very good idea to put a, a little drop of super glue or Loctite on the nuts. You can see that the springs now are very very strong and sturdy so let's take something else. In this case this aluminum cake container. Here in Italy is very very common because I don't know maybe Italian people love to make cakes with this shape. I want to align the parts together very very precisely so a little trick is use this. This is a very very special marker because inside there is liquid chalk and so I can transfer the markings very easy. So I paint all the top parts of the screws, in this case green, and I can then apply some pressure here on the aluminum container once I'm sure that everything is aligned very good. And now I can see very clearly the dots of the screw. So this green dot tell me that here I have to drill a hole. So let me take again the drill with the drill bit inst installed and drill a hole, three holes here on the dots. So this is the result and now just to make sure that everything I've done until now works okay, let me align finally the parts. So before fixing in place securely the top part container uh, with three nuts, I took it apart because I want to make something else. I'm talking about a structure, in this case a wood board works great where I can mount a little motor. I trace the shape of the inner part of the container and then with a saw it's just a matter of a few seconds to cut away the part. You can see now that the part I cut it a little bit larger because I want that fits here without falling outside. Later on I will also glue it with some hot glue. Now I took this. This is a Fosner bit. I choose one pretty big so that I can drill a hole here in the middle. Inside this hole I want to mount a little motor. In this case I choose this one that was I took it apart from a um, foot massager you can see that on the front there is a weight this is an unbalanced weight which means that once the motor starts to spin it will also shake and create, uh, create a lot of vibration I can then glue the motor in place paint everything in, in black you can see now that once the motor starts to spin we already got a little bit vibration it will spin much faster I guarantee you I can then mount again the parts together and secure them using some hot glue from behind. Don't be uh, just be generous just be generous with the, glue, with the glue because this will shake and move a lot drill other two holes one on the top and one on the side so I can pass through these cables this is a positive and negative lead cable we have got 12 volts that goes directly to the motor so I solder the cables to the motor this way I can then mount everything again together make sure that the cables are a little bit loose so they can move freely now I took these six containers they have quartz stone. This stone is pretty hard so we work like an abrasive. This, very, this is a very good choice because I want to remove rust from metal. You can also use it to just polish 
pieces, pieces or wood parts, anything. Later on, I will show you. So fill the container, not to the top, but just halfway, and turn on the motor. You can see now that the motor starts to spin, but for, unfortunately, nothing is happening. Probably it's just because the motor is too small or maybe I put too much stone. I think it's the first problem. The motor is very, very small and also the weight isn't so heavy. So I want to replace the motor with a much bigger one. In this case, this old kitchen mixer that cuts fruit or vegetables works great. Inside we have much bigger motor and I want to replace this plastic gear with a much bigger lead circle. This will be much more heavier and also this one you can see that is unbalanced so you can spin it and will also create a lot of vibration to the system. So it's just a matter of replacing the motors making a bigger hole where I can install the motor inside and so this is the result bigger motor i can plug in the current and then the motor starts to spin we got finally vibration you can see that all the container is vibrating very, very strongly and also all the stones are moving you can see that they are moving in a clockwise direction and it has a very very fast movement now just for a test i will drop inside a lot of components that are quite rusty bolts nuts and washers will go inside the stones let's start with a big bolt this you can see that in a couple seconds is already under the stones and the stones will continue to move against it so they will rub away uh, the, the rust. I decide to keep the machine on for about four hours. This is a long time but I want to have a very nice result. Consider that in this time we are also creating a very fine powder. This is quartz powder and this will get also inside the threads of the bolts and of the screws. This will clean all the rust away. Consider that this machine isn't only used for taking away rust but is also used for polishing parts for example wood make it all shiny and smooth or plastic parts you can print with your 3d printer so it's very cool to watch all the stones spin around and after two four hours this is the result we got a very fine quartz powder all on the top let me remove it with a finger you can see that now the surface is nice and shiny if before this was just a garbage piece you can throw away now looks pretty clean and also all the other components i can use a brush to remove the pink powder and you can see that the bolt is perfectly shiny and smooth it looks like almost it came out from um, in the shop so let's see how it was before and after this screw is pretty amazing result before was just a piece of junk and now is amazing also this one that was pretty big took only four hours and now is it looks like new wow folks it looks amazing check out the result i can feel it by finger by touch is much smoother and i can see that it's shinier and cleaner you can see here how shiny it is i put close to it the sister this is the same screw but how it looks like at the beginning you can see that it was much much thicker layer of rust now this has to be thrown also in the machine i can clean it also i can also solve all the problems of the oncoming screws from my friends so i throw them in let the machine do the job for me and they came out clean consider that the machine stays on for about four hours which is a very long time but i check out i check the, the screws also at half time two hours and in only two hours all the rust went away i decided to cap them in just to see how shiny and smooth were the sir the finish and i'm pretty pretty happy like this so i had a little bit of problems with the motor you saw you see that the first motor i put was too small or maybe the stones were too heavy for this motor so i have to swipe it with a, with a bigger one i choose one that was in the, from a mixer unfortunately the lead weight the disc that they put on top was too heavy and the motor in the first hour becomes very very hot i thought also it was almost coming to break so i i want to make the disc a little bit lighter to do this i use my drill drill some holes now the lead disc is much smaller much lighter the motor can spin faster and this works okay and solve the problem you can see now the 
the machine is sitting down there. I will keep it here in the shop because bringing it home makes a lot of noise. I have cats and they went crazy when this machine turned on. You can also use this machine not only for moving rust, which is a very, very intense job for the machine, but also just for polishing parts. This machine is used also in industries for cleaning pieces. And uh, if you are used to print parts with your 3D printer, you can use this machine to make the surface smoother and cleaner. So uh, if you know well, if you print parts with the 3D printer, you can see that the surface isn't perfectly smooth. You, we have here like um, wrinkles and uh, lines. So if you throw it inside the, um, the machine, you can make it all smooth and shiny. So it's a very nice suggestion also for, for us that we are uh, we love 3D printing. So I hope you enjoyed the project. Let me know if you want to do the same project. Just text me something like here in the comments. It's very appreciated. Also a thumbs up is very very appreciated and helps a lot my upcoming project. So please leave a thumbs up. And as always I leave you with my two previous projects. So last week I show you how I made ruby. Yes, synthetic ruby that are very precious. Very very nice red stones. So check it out and check out also the HHO generator I made a couple weeks ago, which is a very powerful flame. So check them out. See you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao!